how would you differentiate yourself from your opponents in terms of overall style and how do you think your personal style will make you the most effective legislator? Uh, it's Mr. Pun first. I don't consider myself a politician. I got into this race because I think there was a lot of things that needed to be changed. I saw a lot of problems with the current government that is there now. But I think I offer a very unique perspective. I want to represent everybody. I want to represent people who can't walk, who, do, who don't have health insurance. And I've seen, I have so many friends who are in that position. Almost every person that helps me does not have health insurance. And I have been immersed in this ever since I was 20 years old. I've seen things from a different perspective. I've seen things that a lot of people just don't know about. And I want to share that in the legislat legislature because I, I, it, I think we need to win in the court of public opinion. And I want to not only vote the right way, but win in the court of public opinion and educate all of Missouri, not just the 25th District. Thank you, Mr. Pund. Mr. Spence? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we've got a really clear difference in this, in this election. I think that in many ways makes it easier for you. And my experience is uh, very different uh, from my opponents. I've never been a lobbyist um, like Bob. I've never been a 30-year state employee like Mary. I've got a very different sort of experience that has been, that has involved state government, that has involved working for political figures and for activist organizations and making real social change um, in uh, 11 states now. I've lived in um, seven of those states, lived all over the country and I bring that to bear. I've, I've started businesses that have both succeeded and really failed. You know, we've had, we've had both. Um, in the business world, I've, I've, been, I've been the Harry Truman and I've been the pay the bills guy. You know, we've gotten that, we've, we've had both. Um, and I bring that experience in. I've worked in the Fortune 500. I know what it's like to compete on a global level. So it's this experience that I bring in and the ability to think of ideas and make them actually become reality and do them and not just talk about them like we do so much in this in this world of, of politics and so really that's what I bring a level of experience and a long record of not just talking about things but actually doing them and bringing together people from very disparate backgrounds to make the world a better place. Thank you Mr. Spence. Ms. Still? I've lived and worked in this community for 25 years. I feel that I would, that many, many people know me. They know my background. They know exactly where I worked and when I worked there and who I've worked for and the causes that I've worked for. I've been active with a Girl Scout troop for more than 10 years, a troop of uh, disadvantaged, young, many disadvantaged young women. Uh, many of them are grown now. They are facing the challenges of family life, trying to find a job, and working for a living. I know that they can relate to me, and I can relate to them in a way that maybe is a little different uh, than the other two. I'm a very strong advocate of women's issues involving reproductive rights. That's something people don't talk about that much. But I think that is very important to uh, young people and to this community, and I'm going to advocate for that, for Planned Parenthood, for sex education, truthful sex education. So that is another way I differentiate myself from these other two.